This is how I'd make 10k a month if my life depended on it. I know, we're not doing some shady shit. This is only if I had to edit videos. Now imagine that you're out for a walk and all of a sudden you got kidnapped and put in a white van. Gun to your head, the man tells you to give him $10,000 only through video editing, otherwise he'll blow your brains out. If I was in that situation, this is exactly what I would do to get there as fast as possible. And being real with you guys, this kind of happened to me quite a few times. No, uh, not the kidnapping and white van and gun stuff. I've lost clients and work. I've quit my job to start again from the beginning multiple times. So even if I lost everything today, this is the exact strategy that I would do to get back to 10K a month. And luckily for you, I'm gonna give you everything that is working today and not something that just worked six months ago but isn't working anymore. In fact, what I'm teaching you is exactly what my student Johnny did in my coaching program to go from 5K a month to 15K a month with only my strategies. So just shy of, of 15K, it's two, two big word of mouth clients. And last I spoke to him, he just hit 30K a month by himself. So with that being said, let us begin. Okay, so my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, but what am I doing to get this editing money ready? The first thing is actually to get my mindset right. Now, before you before you stop me and think, oh, well, bro, I need to know how to make 10K a month. Why are you doing some mindset stuff? The reason I'm saying mindset is because I need to focus on the inputs that are gonna get me to 10K a month with editing, not so much focusing on the outputs. If I focus too much on the goalpost, I'm not gonna be focusing on the ball on my feet that I need to kick towards putting it in the goal. <laughs> So you need to understand the following two things. First is value first. I have to position myself in my mindset to be given clients value first and figure out how editing content is going to make one of my clients money. Because if I can make somebody money, they're gonna pay me money. And the second is volume. I need to provide value at scale. What I need to be doing to get to the result that I need to requires a lot of volume, a lot of contacting clients, a lot of inputs of videos, lots of volume. Now, if I really wanted to make 10K at my own pace, I'd probably think of a different niches that I'm interested in and think of videos that I really enjoy making. But I can't do that because I've got a Glock 12 pointed at my head right now. So I have no choice but to choose a niche that is profitable. And so what I'm going to do is choose the niche of info products and find personal brands, coaches, consultants, whatever, that sell courses or coaching programs in the finance niche, such as crypto projects, business courses, whatever. Because I know that for them, all they need to do is just post a lot of content and that content is the top of the funnel to get to their programs. So my content is going to directly affect their sales. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna package an offer that I can sell for $2,000 every single month, such that all I need to do is sell five of these and I hit 10K a month. If I do some quick maths, if I had to sell $200 videos, I will need to sell 50 $200 videos in one month to hit 10K a month. And some of you editors are probably realizing that if you're only editing for $200, you're not gonna get there anytime soon. So what do you think is easier? Now this is my offer. <clears throat> if you're a business and finance coach selling an info product, I promise you 20 qualified leads to your program with only one hour a week of your time by leveraging my short form content flywheel strategy. Now, if you actually break this down, it's a pretty simple offer. I'm just giving them 30 videos every single month that are highly produced in the education space. But as well as the editing, I'm gonna be writing the hooks and the call to actions. So the client only has to add the value in the middle and just film. I'm also gonna be making thumbnails that are clickable on their feed so that they get views, not only once they've been posted, but even later when people are scrolling through the feed. And it also adds the perceived value to the videos that I'm making. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna package this offer at 2.5K. So all I need to do is sell four. And before you get angry and go, oh yeah, this is, this is not just editing. The reason for this is because if I'm only selling editing, that is currently a commoditized product. Now you can probably do an editing offer that's like, I will edit your videos, I'll create branding assets, and uh, you get this many videos and they're very quick and whatnot. And you can do this with only editing, but it's quite a harder thing to sell. If you're adding other stuff on that's gonna save the client a lot more time, like the script writing and the thumbnails, it's more valuable. And look, I still have a gun pointed to my head and I need to make money fast. So this is really the fastest way to do it. And plus inside this van, there is a copy of Cashvertising by Drew Eric Whitman, which has a lot of tips for copywriting and I'm gonna use for writing these scripts. Now, at this point, I have my offer fixed. I still have the gun to my head and I can't lie, 
this van kind of stinks like shit. So I need to start actually finding clients before I throw up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Instagram. I'm gonna look for business coaches in different finance spaces. I'm gonna follow a bunch of them. I'm gonna interact with their videos, comment on them, share, save, whatever. I'm gonna train the algorithm to only show me content from these guys, okay? So no more. No more of that. And at the same time, I'm gonna DM a bunch of them saying, hey, I see you're a coach, but the content you're making is not really going to be attracting people to your program. I actually edited one of your videos so that it's more engaging and educational. And I promise if you post this video, you will get more people checking out your program. Mind if I send it to you? Now, what this script actually does is it raises intrigue and curiosity from the potential client to actually reply. All they have to do is reply yes. And once they do, I'm gonna take one of their videos just re-edit it in a way that's a bit more engaging by doing one of these three things. One, I would add text, graphics, and B-roll that will help illustrate the points that they are making to be easier to consume. Two, I will cut out the fluff and improve the pacing on the video. And three, I'll also extract the music from the audio with one of these AI softwares and add two to three music changes to make it way more interesting. And I'm only gonna do this for the first 10 to 15 seconds so that the client has a nice preview of the video. Now, if you're wondering if this stuff actually works, the person editing this video right now did the exact same thing to me and posted this on Twitter. His name is Dominic, shout out Dominic. And also I'm gonna do all of these edits inside a project file, one singular project file, by the way. So I don't have to keep opening a different project file and reloading everything. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. You smart. And then what I will do is I will send the video with a Canonly link and tell them my offer that by the way, has a guarantee so that they can book a call with me and get to work with me. Now you're probably wondering, why does my offer have a guarantee? And that's because I'm in this van, we're driving around London and I don't really have any case studies of this offer that I am sending and so by adding a guarantee i am reducing the risk for the client to work with me so if things don't work out and i don't get them the leads they can get their money back but i collect the cash up front so that i'm working with the client and i get the money to work with them and they are more comfortable knowing that i can give their money back because we signed the contract now do you guys see why the fastest way to attract clients is by actually reaching out to them think about it this way thousands of years ago when we were hunter gatherers there were two ways to really get some food inside your belly. It was one, you set up a bait and you just wait. Or two, you actually go and chase some boar and throw spears at it and you can capture it and actually eat. Unless you were vegan at the time, but I don't think it was very popular back then. And I've also sent 100 DMs a day and assume I get a 2% conversion rate. That means in a day, I would get two replies and hopefully two people that I can send these videos to. And if one of them every single day said yes, by the end of the week, I should have a handful of clients. Now, assume I'm in this van for two weeks and he said 30 days until... Now at this point, I've made about 6K. So I'm getting close to that 10K a month mark. But whilst I'm sending these DMs, I'm trying to book more calls, I need to edit these videos ASAP. Luckily, this van is fitted with state-of-the-art, super fast Wi-Fi and endless power to my MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. You know what? This van is actually kind of cool. So here is how you're gonna edit the videos as fast as possible. Since I prepared and sent the client the scripts, all these scripts are roughly between 30 and 45 seconds long. You see, I'm, I'm going to load them into Premiere Pro and I'm going to use the following framework to edit these videos as fast as possible. Step one is to use the text-to-speech editor so that I can cut out the talking head content as fast as possible. Rather than having to listen for every single bit that they say and cut out the bits, I just gotta look at the text and only leave the parts that are correct. The second thing I'm gonna do is actually go through and add two to three music changes from the hook to the body to the call to action. I'm gonna use tense music at the beginning, lighthearted music at the end, and something in the middle, depending on the mood. And in three, I'm gonna download a bunch of assets and animations so I can use them to visually tell the story and illustrate the points that the client is making as easily as possible. And to maximize productivity, I'm gonna focus on one client's videos at a time. Because if I start jumping from project to project, I am not allowing my body and my mind to get into that deep work state. And once I finish the videos for a client, I'm going to upload them to frame.io, send that link to the client. So whilst the client is reviewing the videos, I'm working on the next set for a different client. And in my toilet breaks, I'm still sending DMs and contacting these potential clients. Now, I'm running into a problem here. I have 30 days until my kidnapper is looking at me like a carnival shooting target. And I'm like 4K away from hitting that 10K a month mark. 
So I've got like two options to actually make this work. Option one is I can upsell to my current clients another service, such as uploading the videos to social media so that they have even less work to do. However, I don't have a lot of experience doing this, so I need to provide another guarantee or be just very good at selling. The second thing that I can do is give my clients a referral offer where if they bring me one client, they get the next month's work all for free. They only have to do is give me a client. That way I can close and cash in another 2K from that new client to get me to that sweet 10K a month. And remember, if we think back to our mindset about volume and value, as long as I keep producing for these clients, I keep adding value to them, I should be getting close to that 10K a month. Your time is up. Oh no. Looks like I made it. So that's how I would make 10K a month editing videos if my life depended on it. You now understand how simple it actually is. Note that I said simple, not easy. It does take a lot of effort, but the actual steps that you have to do are not very complex. So comment below if I taught you something new. And of course, if you're gonna start using my way, then that is the smart thing to do. But here's the thing. There's of course going to be some issues along the way. Because whilst you can do this and spend a lot of time doing trial and error with different clients, what do you say on the sales calls? What do you do when clients have revisions? How do you deal with different outputs? How do you actually manage your time properly? What if you need to hire a team later down the line? All of these things, I actually help my students in my coaching program, Video Venture, to solve. Not only on how to get high ticket clients, but build a six figure agency with creating content. So if you're interested, go to the first link in the description and there's something for you if you're interested in doing that. Oh, and one more thing, if you're a beginner, you might wanna join my community VP Plus with Jack Cole and other creators that help video editors like you go from zero, knowing absolutely nothing, to actually finding your first few clients. In fact, some of the guys in this program have left their full-time jobs because of the work that they've received whilst at BP+. So if that's you, hit that second link in the description. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you want to see more stuff like this. Check out this video if you want to learn more about how to make money as a video editor. With that being said, I will see you in the next one.